Hello my beautiful makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. Belleza, bienvenidas a mi canal. For today's video, I am very excited. I am sharing my top five foundations, the one that went through the test to the maximum, my absolute best five. But before we start with this video, let me share that this video is very special because I am collaborating with the beautiful creator here in YouTube and friend, Mo Makeup, Mo Beauty. She is a luxury makeup channel, and if you didn't know about her, which I'm sure a lot of you already know her, I highly suggest to stop by her channel and see her content, her beautiful um, luxury makeup videos. She loves luxury skincare. Sisley is her favorite brand, and she has this positive energy about her, very happy and kind personality. Very, very nice. And I really love the way she applies makeup. Very natural, her skin looks natural, her makeup looks natural. Really love that and I highly encourage you to stop by her channel and give her some love and see what kind of foundations did she pick for this video. I'm curious, we'll see. Let's start with this video, makeup lovers. Before I show you my top five foundations, let me share a little bit about myself. I am 43 years old and uh, mature skin. I have issues with my skin. I have high pigmentation right here on this part and, and here. I'm very oily skin, acne prone. And still at my age, I'm breaking out a lot of times I have wrinkles on my forehead and a little bit of no sagginess but I notice the elasticity of my skin is still like saying I'm walking away from you <laughs> and for foundations I like sheer light to medium coverage and I am yellow undertone and probably one or two of my foundations are neutral but mostly I am yellow undertone for this video, I prepare my skin using my regular um, skincare. I didn't use anything different, anything special, and I will link everything for your convenience down below. Let me start by showing you the Chanel Ultra Latine. This foundation comes in 30 shades. I wear um, shade BR92. It comes in a variety of tones, neutrals, rose, and yellow. Like I mentioned before, I am a yellow undertone, but I get away with neutral colors too. This foundation, it's a matte foundation. And I know I'm not into full coverage, and this is a full coverage foundation, but this applies effortlessly on my face. And I apply it with a brush, and later I use a sponge just for more sheer coverage. Um, it's buildable and it will cover your high pigmentation and your blemishes without making your skin look cakey or heavy. Um, sometimes I don't apply powder. I just do an illuminator on my face or just leave it like that and move on with the rest of my makeup. But this foundation is so light, it doesn't even look like um, a full coverage foundation. I can even retouch it if I blow my nose or just clean on this, because I have the habit of touching my face. But this foundation, hold on, excellent. It's great for events, weddings, parties, going out to dinner. I love this foundation. Has been wearing this foundation for a very long time. The longevity, excellent. This foundation uh, will oxidize a little bit. That is the only downside of it. So choose carefully and I suggest that before you purchase a foundation, especially a luxury foundation, please um, get from your essay. They will give you a sample, test it for a few days until you are sure that you are in love with that foundation. See how it works with your skin. But this foundation um, will look so natural on my skin and just not flat. It will give my skin 
um, the natural look without making me look flat and that's the effect I'm looking with this foundation that's one of the reasons I pick this foundation no SPF though so if you're looking for SPF I will show you um, in my next foundation but this is a very very nice foundations and I would say that the last 10 shades in Chanel 10 or 15 shades if I'm not mistaken are really really deep with a variety of undertones so you will be able to find your shade so if you are a full coverage uh, person and you like really full coverage this foundation it's buildable it will cover your imperfections without making you look cakey if you want to enlarge my pores or intensify my lines it really really works with my skin without making me look older and without looking heavy on the skin that's something that i really worry because over time if your foundation is too heavy it will age you completely and foundation is the base of your skin foundation it will really show if your makeup is beautiful and flawless because if your foundation is the wrong shade if your foundation is the wrong formula for you then you have a problem it will make your, your makeup look horrible horrible but this foundation for those of you who like uh, full coverage is excellent if you are dry skin i think that you can probably wear this foundation with a very uh, good moisturizer that will moisturize your skin and hydrate your skin to hold on to that foundation very very nice foundation Shiseido Cypress Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I did not review this foundation in my channel because they have there's a lot of uh, reviews on this foundation. It's available in 30 shades. It's oil free, matte. It lasts. It says that it's long lasting foundation, and it is. I wear shade um, 420 bronze and the variety of shades in it is absolutely wonderful it's oil free it's light to medium coverage but it's buildable if you want something that will make you look very natural that will make you look fresh and you want a larger pores this is fantastic the spf doesn't affect my pores and doesn't set on my lines natural feel looking foundation i apply it with a brush and it feels absolutely amazing on my skin very natural it gives me that radiance but at the same time i look matte a lot of times i don't even set this foundation and you won't have flashback when you take a picture um, with the spf it won't give you like um, it won't change colors and I think it stays true to the color. It doesn't oxidize in my opinion. I really enjoy using this foundation. I use a brush for the application. Um, it's easy to work with. It, I mean it's liquid and one pump is enough for one application. You don't need much. So it's a very nice, it's available um, in 30 shades and I really like the way it makes my skin look very youthful look and I still get the coverage that I want if you like full coverage you can build it if you are dry skin you can still wear it and your skin is gonna look beautiful if you are oily skin like I am you will love love this foundation and that's one of the reasons I picked this foundation Lancome Tinted Idol foundation it's available in 50 shades with different undertones as well and this is a new one that I just got recently because mine was completely oh my goodness this is like the third bottle I purchased I like it that much it's high up in my list and these foundations I'm showing you they are not in a particular order I love them all the same this one is just older because I've been wearing it for many years now but I wear um, shade 420 neutral is one of the few foundations 
I can wear that at neutral. I apply it with a brush, but it can also be applied with your fingers. I'm not particularly a fan of using my fingers when applying a foundation, but it's an excellent foundation. It's full coverage, matte, oil-free. It covers my pigmentation without making me feel um, cakey or like overdone. I'm always careful, like that's my biggest fear to wear a lot of makeup, a lot of foundation. Um, I use powder with this one, but a lot of times I don't. I also skip powder with this foundation. It doesn't feel as sticky. It doesn't intensify my lines. And I don't think it oxidizes, it stays uh, pretty true to its color, which is very, very nice. And I think the availability of finding this foundation in different undertones is a great help because all of us women, we all have different skin tone, different undertones, different colors. And Lancome has done a great job with the shades on this foundation and the formula. And oily skin, dry skin, normal skin can wear this foundation. It's really a delight foundation. Through the day, my skin is still breathing and looking natural. It doesn't break much um, at all. I have no problem at all. And usually foundation, some of them, it will break around here, a little bit around here, and that's what happens. I have to say with most of the foundations, again, I touch my face and it's a bad, bad habit. But I highly recommend this foundation for those of you who like coverage because it's buildable and it can be pretty sheer. If you don't apply very much, you're going to look fantastic. If you apply a little bit more, then you're going to have high coverage, but it still look natural. Tom Ford. Shade and Illuminate Radiance Foundation. This, this is really a favorite and a foundation that I love. And I think so far my most expensive foundation, one of them. And this foundation, it's available in 50 shades. 50 shades, lady, it's wonderful. It has really, really deep shades and really, really light shades in, in the middle just for those who are um, in the middle, medium, olive skin, and then gradually going up. And if you are really rich, deep skin, this foundation, you're going to find it. The foundation is SPF. It has a skincare hyaluronic acid for extra moisturizer to your face. It makes my skin look, oh my goodness, so radiant, luminous and beautiful. I really, really like this foundation. It's like, it's so soft. I apply it with a brush. This foundation, it's medium to full coverage and it's infused with a skincare. And I think that's one of the things that helps the coverage and the longevity of this foundation that it will uh, take you through the day, morning, to evening without looking greasy, without making you look oily. Because sometimes SPF and skincare is a concussion that can make you look very, very oily and, and cakey. But this foundation, it will really uh, take you through the day with a natural looking finish. And trust me, I have worn this foundation through the element. I have traveled, I have used it uh, through the worst highly recommended and your skin will still look like your skin and you can build the coverage it's up to you how much you want to apply but a little bit goes a long way it has the perfect shade for me i wear shade 8.7 almond i have another tom ford um, foundation that i love the same and i think the skin care helps a lot as well but this foundation it's amazing amazing for a natural look radiance skin highly recommended la mer the soft fluid long wear foundation spf 20 it's available in 29 shades um, it's oil free long wearing light to medium coverage 
you can build this foundation up to your desire um, it's very light and it has the miracle breath I have to believe that it's true it has a miracle breath because your skin since this foundation is infused with a skincare in it through the day your skin is starting looking better and better and as you wear it for um, a few days straight your skin looks different I tested and it's true um, I wear it like for a whole week just to see if it was true what they claim and it's absolutely the truth with this foundation I love it I think it's a great foundation gives you radiance smooth your lines uh, it makes your skin feels natural it's not sticky um, it does intensify your lines and that's one of the most important things for me uh, the colors pretty much stay true and it's fantastic I love it um, it goes through the day it holds on I am oily skin and I have to powder with this foundation I, I do that is the truth I feel like with this foundation my skin looks natural it blurs my pores um, since I apply it with um, a brush I can build the coverage as much as I want it's so expensive I know but I don't use up I don't really like to use a sponge because <laughs> Ugh, it's so expensive. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste it, but a little bit one pump It's more than enough for your entire face If you need more coverage because you have acne scars or you have pigmentation You can still do it with this foundation It still give you the coverage probably not the exact coverage that um, Ultra Detain will give you but it will cover uh, those imperfections I would say 75% um, I really really enjoy using this foundation and highly recommend it I would also like to honorable mention um, Sisley Fito Tint Ultra Eclat Foundation it's amazing infused with um, a skincare very light on the skin fantastic but the reason why I didn't include it is because of the small um, shade range in that foundation line. Also, I could only include five foundations. With these makeup lovers, I would like to end this video. But before, I would like to um, encourage you to visit uh, Mo Makeup Mo Beauty channel. She has amazing content with beautiful um, luxury makeup reviews always the latest uh, luxury makeup and skincare with of course her positive attitude i will link her channel and video down below please don't forget to give her some love if you are one of my subscribers and if you are one of her subscribers welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching Please consider to subscribe if you have not. I am a luxury makeup lover and if you are, then you are at the right place. Don't forget to like and comment and share this video to see this channel grow. I love to have you. Let me thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it and I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for watching. Until my next video.